Well, good morning. Uh, we are entering a new week here. Uh, this week we'll be investigating inclined planes. Uh, so to get started, we'll look at an example problem. Uh, then later in the week, we'll have you investigate some inclined planes by doing a bit of an experiment. And then also um, a problem to finish up the week. Um, so you might remember this one. We had done number 35 uh, in the chapter. Um, so I just wanted to go through this one as an example to show you how we work with inclined planes. So if you remember, it says, it says here uh, that we slide a 325 newton trunk up a 20 degree inclined plane. We're going to slide at a constant velocity by exerting a force of 211 newtons parallel to the inclined plane. And then it walked you through step by step. Uh, part A is finding the parallel component of the weight. Part B, we're adding up the forces and C in the parallel direction in order to find the size of the friction force. And then uh, letter D here, which we can't see, it's hiding, uh, is what is the coefficient of friction? So let's take these one at a time. In the first step, uh, obviously we want to draw a diagram. So you can see here we've drawn a diagram. We have our box or crate on an inclined plane and we are going to apply a force of 211 newtons to pull it up the plane. There is a force due to friction holding it back and weight pulling straight down. There's also a normal force that points perpendicular to the plane. And if you remember we need to resolve weight into its perpendicular and parallel directions. And in fact, that's the first question. What is the parallel component of the weight? Um, so you can see here, I've gone ahead to do that. Boy, can I move that out of the way? There we go. Uh, let's see. So in the parallel direction, what is the parallel component of the weight? Well, in this triangle that we've drawn, this interior angle is theta and the opposite side so we're going to use sine is w parallel. So you might remember w parallel equals w sine theta. And when we plug in the values, we find out that w parallel is 111 newtons. The next part of the problem has us uh, finding the frictional force. So what the problem asks, it says if we add up all of the forces in the parallel direction, that's this one, the force due to friction, and the parallel component of the weight, we get zero uh, because it's not accelerating. We're pulling it at a constant speed. So when we sum up the forces in the parallel direction, we get mass times acceleration, but that's zero. It's not accelerating. We're pulling it at a constant speed. So let's sum up all of the forces. There are three of them. W parallel points in the positive direction. The force due to friction also points in the positive direction. And this applied force points in the negative direction. So when we add those up, we get zero. If we rearrange the equation looking for the force due to friction, we find out that that is the applied force minus W parallel or 100 newtons. Pretty straightforward. The uh, last step is uh, finding the coefficient of friction. Uh, in order to look at the coefficient of friction, we need to remember the definition. Force due to friction is mu times n. And so we quickly rearrange that for the coefficient. It's the force due to friction divided by the normal force. We found the force due to friction in the prior part. It's 100 newtons. The normal force, however, we need to go to the perpendicular direction to understand that. So if we sum up the forces in the perpendicular direction, again, it's not accelerating in that direction, that it's not jumping up off the plane or anything, right? So its acceleration is zero in the perpendicular direction, and therefore n equals w perpendicular, if we add that to both sides. But w perpendicular notices the adjacent side of that triangle. So W perpendicular is W cosine theta. And that's what we're gonna substitute for N right here. When we plug in the numbers, we find out that the coefficient is 0.327. Well, that's our example for the day. Um, hopefully you were able to follow that. Uh, and I do plan to ask a question for you to follow up with for this assignment. And then tomorrow, uh, we're going to have you get out an inclined plane and make some measurements to find coefficient of friction. See you then.